You know, today we pride ourselves in fair trials. We even say that the guilty are innocent until after their trial. Uh, innocent until proven guilty. Yet in Jesus' day, it wasn't like that. And especially not when it came to Jesus himself. The events that led up to Jesus' crucifixion just went by in a whirlwind. He was arrested on Thursday and crucified on Friday. And he had done no wrong. They accused him of many things, but the witnesses couldn't even agree with each other. This would never happen in a court of law today. And yet it all happened according to what God wanted. Ultimately, Jesus was sent here so that he would die for our sins. And this is made clear all throughout scripture. And yet as Jesus was dying on the cross, I think it's one of the times where it's made most clear. Jesus prayed from the cross, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. They didn't realize that they were crucifying the Son of God. They didn't realize that they were doing the one thing, the worst thing in all of the universe. They were killing God on the cross. Jesus being the Son of God and God in the flesh. And Jesus said about them, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. And I think God the Father certainly heard Jesus' prayer and forgave them. But I don't think Jesus was praying just for them. Once again, Jesus went to the cross for all of our sins. Jesus is the Savior of the world. When Jesus prayed, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing, I think he was talking about you and me. Anytime that we sin, we don't know what we're doing. Anytime that we rebel against God, not following his word, man, we have no idea how bad that is and what the eternal consequences for that are. And Jesus, out of his compassion, prayed to his Father in heaven and said, Father, they don't know what they're doing. Forgive them. And as Christians, we certainly believe that we need to have faith and repentance, and these are important for the Christian life. But it's interesting that Jesus' prayer didn't hinge on our faith and repentance. I think instead, if you read scripture carefully, our faith and repentance hinges on Jesus' prayer. God forgives us, and therefore we respond with faith and repentance. We would not have faith and repent if God did not do a work in our hearts. So God the Son prays to God the Father, forgive them, because they don't know what they're doing. And so often today, we still don't know what we're doing. And yet God forgives us, not on the basis of our righteousness, but on the basis of Christ. Put your faith in him. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.